Hi, my name is Jennifer Ross. I'm a DIY paint retailer here in Northwest Arkansas. And I'm going to be showing you an economic way to upgrade an upholstered chair. Um, I'm going to work on some dining room chairs in this project. But um, besides painting with DIY paint, because you know it's so versatile and it just covers fabric like a dream, um, I'm going to be showing you a simple way to upholster. I am not a professional upholsterer. I can't do the piping and all the fancy things, but I do know how to operate a staple gun. And if you're comfortable with that, just stay here, hit subscribe, and go ahead and enjoy the video. These dining room chairs were in good condition, just needed some fresh paint and updated fabric. Burlap can be difficult to work with, so be sure to leave enough material all the way around the cushion. You will want enough to fold over, that way the staple will hold better and it will not tear through the fabric. Some copy sacks have more of a loose weave, so you may want to check to see if you're able to see the old fabric underneath. If that's the case, you can either paint it with a solid color or use a lightweight fabric underneath the burlap. You may want to trim the excess burlap, but make sure you have plenty to go around. Line up the pattern of your coffee bag with the seat. With these being a little bit wider, I wanted to start at the corners to make sure that I had plenty to go around. I'm using a battery operated staple gun with quarter inch staples. Check to see if yours has a pressure setting. Too much will just shoot holes through the fabric and too little and the staples won't hold the fabric. I worked my way around the seat, folding the burlap underneath as I stapled. Some fabric may be more stretchy than others. This can cause crooked lines of the patterns of your seat. It's best to work on opposite sides of each other versus going all the way around at once. This is to ensure that you have enough fabric to staple to. You may have to cut away bulky areas before you staple so the seat will fit back onto the chair properly. I also staple multi-folded areas more to flatten them out and to make it stronger. This burlap was stiff and it was a workout to stretch, fold, hold in place, and then staple. So watch your fingers.
really hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you on the scenic route. Bye-bye.